and welcome to Doings Around the House with the Home Depot. I'm your host, Mark Mullins. Today we're going to be talking about fertilization, fertilizing your flowers, insect control around the house, and uh, we're going to have Steve Hansen from Scott's Miracle Grow Company. He's going to be here telling us all about this stuff. So come back with us and we'll see you in just a minute. Today we're going to be talking about home fertilization, lawn fertilization. We're going to be talking about things around the house. And I've got here with me Steve Hansen. Steve from the Miracle Grow, uh, Scott's Miracle Grow Company. Mm -hmm. Glad to have you here. And uh, he's going to be sharing information with us about how to fertilize our lawn, how to take care of our flowers, and how to keep the insects out of the house and the yard uh, over the hot, 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 as you can tell, uh, days to come. We're here in front of Lafayette Square uh, in LaGrange, and it is a beautiful day. So, Steve, tell us a little bit about. Scott's Miracle Grow. Okay. Well, Mark, we've uh, Scott's has been in business for over a hundred years, and um, we've made it our goal to help gardeners be successful. And the more successful gardeners are, of course, the more of our products they're going to buy. So we like that. But our main goal is to uh, help help our our consumers and our gardeners be successful at what they do. Okay. And so this year. We are in a pretty severe drought in this part of the country. In fact, on the news this morning, I, they said that we've had two days um, in 2010 that were over 90 degrees by this time, and this year we've had 14 days over right. 90 degrees in comparison. Right. So, uh, folks, we we are in drought conditions, and um, we are right we are way behind on rain. And so we want to try to help you do what's right for your lawn to protect your investment for your home, your lawn, your pets. And um, so that's, that's, we'll start out and we'll talk about fertilizer. Okay. So I see you've brought an array of things here, but let's talk about Green Max. Tell me about Green Max. Okay. Green Max is a fairly new item that we came out with two years ago. And Green Max has more iron in it than any other product on the market. It has 5.75% uh, iron. Iron is what really puts that deep green color in your lawn. And uh, unique about what's unique about Green Max is it also has 22% nitrogen. And nitrogen is the fuel for your grass. Okay. That's what causes it to grow and take up the other nutrients. Okay. Now I know we've got we've got fescue, we've got Bermuda, mm -hmm. we've got zoysia, we've got some folks even putting St. Augustine down, things like that. Is this good for all grasses? Green Max is good for all grasses. Okay. Uh, you want to be careful on centipede. Centipede needs to be fertilized at the most twice a year. Okay. But all the other grasses, you can use Green Max virtually any time. Now, during drought conditions, the caution is, is if you don't have access to water, you don't want to fertilize. Okay. So uh, you either wait for it to rain, or if you have access to water on your lawn and we're not under restrictions, then you can go ahead and fertilize. And, and grass needs fertilizer to withstand the drought. So hopefully you have fertilized your lawn prior to this drought happening. Okay, if that was in May, we should have fertilized, but if we didn't. Right. If, if you, we didn't, this is still okay to put down on the ground. It's still okay to put down, but don't put it down unless you have access to water. Okay, so you gotta water this stuff. You gotta mm -hmm. water this stuff in once you put it in, or you gotta, you gotta be expecting some some serious rain, a couple of days of good rain before you put it down. I notice here we got Turf Builder, uh, Turf Builder Summer Guard. Tell okay. me about that. Well, Summer Guard, the Summer Guard has an insecticide in it. Okay. Okay, this is for the guy, kind of like myself, that would probably rather be out playing golf. Okay. <laughs> on Saturday morning. I understand. But um, his wife has said, you got to do something about the lawn. There and so go. this is the quickest and easiest way to do that. He can fertilize and he can also kill the bugs all in one shot, and then he can get out to the golf course and get things done. Okay. Now, Steve, I noticed we've got just a regular old Southern Turf Builder here. Tell us about that. Yeah, the, the Southern Turf Builder is, um, is the old standby. This is what most people would use on their lawn for normal fertilization. And okay. if you have Bermuda, you need to fertilize Bermuda about once every six weeks. Okay. Bermuda likes lots of fertilizer. Okay. And there again, during this drought, don't fertilize unless you have access to water. Okay. 
Uh, what's unique about Scott's is it's an all-in-one particle, okay? And that's versus a simple mix. So every particle is the same size, and that way you get more even coverage. And each particle has all the, all the nutrients on it. So uh, when you put this down, you'll get, you'll get even, the even coverage, but also when you put Scott's fertilizer down, it's going to help your lawn with water conservation. Okay. Because it's going to increase the density of the roots. The roots are going to be, they're going to grow deeper and it's going to enable that lawn to survive the drought a lot better. Okay, tell me about one, let me ask this one off, off question here that we hadn't talked about. There's nothing, but, uh, aeration. Should, when, should we aerate and then fertilize? Does that help get the fertilizer get down into the root? You need that. You need to aerate, aerate, especially in this part of the country. Unless you have a sandy soil, it's not probably not quite as important. But uh, watch the golf courses, the golf courses, the baseball fields, the football fields, and notice when those guys are aerating. And they they aerate normally okay. earlier in the spring. Okay. Not during the middle of the summer right. as much when uh, the drought, the uh, grass is already under stress. Okay, we got one more product I want to talk about mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll, we'll get into some other stuff. But we got, we got lawn fungus control. Why lawn fungus control? Okay, what happens when you have a drought is the grass is under stress some and then as soon as it starts to rain, your grass is very susceptible to lawn fungus. Okay. And so it's really important that uh, you be prepared for that. The way you'll notice, you'll know that you have a fungus in your lawn is you'll see a, a, a brown spot and it'll be kind of in the middle of the lawn okay. instead of on the edges. And so uh, that's when you want to be sure and apply a lawn fungus control. Okay, the thing to remember guys is water, 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 and water again if you're gonna apply all of these things to your lawn. Every one of these are beneficial and when we Correct. come back, we're going to talk to Steve about how to put it on the ground, how to put it down right, and how to do it safely. Uh, and then we'll get into some flowers, soils, and stuff to keep the bugs out of your grass. So just give us a few minutes and uh, we'll be right back with you. Well, hey, welcome back. We're at Dunes around the house. I've got my friend here, Steve Hansen from Scott's miracle Grow. We've been talking about fertilizers, We've been talking about the summer heat uh, here at this beautiful setting around uh, Lafayette Square here in LaGrange. Steve, we talked about fertilizers just a few minutes ago mm -hmm. in our last segment. What we want to talk about now is how to put it on the ground. So we want to talk about your spreaders, okay. what to do, how to do it. All right. Uh, can I just say something about the water first? Absolutely. Okay. With all this water behind us, uh, I want to talk about water. But uh, on the watering part, your lawn needs if you have access to water, your lawn needs about an inch of water a week. And you don't want to do that in short segments every day. Number one, you want to water in the morning. Okay. And you want to water uh, probably two or three times a week. Okay. And you want to water for a longer period of time to get the, more, get the water down in the soil further because the roots will grow to where that water is. Okay. So if you water shallow, the roots are going to be shallow and they'll be more susceptible to and drought. And if you water at the wrong time of the day, the water's going to evaporate. Right. If you okay. water too late in the day, you'll actually, you can actually burn the grass. If okay. you water late in the evening, uh, it won't dry out and you can actually cause fungus problems. Okay. And so, then you'll be buying fungus control, guys. Then so, you'll buy, right. Well, tell us about how to put it on okay. the ground. To put it on, uh, you have a couple options here. You have a handheld spreader, like this one right here, okay. which is really easy to use and has this convenient Thing to hold your arm, take the pressure off of your hand, okay. and it tells you on the back of every bag exactly how to set that. Okay. Okay. Excellent. And it's different for different fertilizers. Excellent. And then um, up front here, you have a broadcast spreader, which is the most popular. Okay. And it's the same thing on the back of the bag. It tells you how to set it, but it's got a uh, unique function on it called an edge guard. Tell me about edge guard. I saw okay. that just a minute ago. Tell me what that does. Well, you see these beautiful flowers around us. Okay. Well, you can take this spreader and turn the edge guard system on and go right around those flowers and it'll only throw fertilizer on the lawn. It won't throw it in the flower bed. Now, how about that? Which that is, is a that is awesome. big advantage. That is awesome. And then that way you're not throwing 
fertilizer, actually wasting fertilizer, throwing, wasting it, up fertilizer in your, throwing it up in your possibly, flowers. Possibly damaging your flowers. All right. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about fertilizers on the grass. Mm -hmm. We've talked about how to apply it. So we've got that part covered. Let's talk about our flowers. What about our flowers? We've got some things here from miracle Grow, applicators, uh, different fertilizers. Tell us about what you got here. Yeah, it's on your flowers, uh, think about it, and it's kind of like watering, too. Okay. You don't want to do that in the heat of the day. Okay. You want to do that early in the morning, and you, you really want to, uh, you, that's preferable over late in the evening, too. Okay. And you really don't want to hit them with a strong fertilizer during the heat. Okay. So this, this uh, miracle Grow liquid feed really works well for that. Okay. And this is handy because you can also water You're them. You're watering it at the same time, basically. And basically, with the flip of a switch, you can be feeding them fertilizer. And okay. uh, the fertilizer is applied right on the leaves, and you can spray it around the uh, soil on the roots. Okay. Okay. Uh, this this moisture control fertilizer with the shake and feed is is new this year and okay. is unique because it actually helps your plants conserve moisture. It actually, will take you less water to keep your plants healthy. Okay. When you use this product, Excellent. and then it also lasts for I think it lasts for four. Three months. This lasts for three months. So that's up to when yeah. you fertilize, you got three months right. worth of fertilizer in there. Okay. Good. All right. What else we got here? We got uh, the all-purpose plant food. I know my mm -hmm. mother fertilized everything. Yep. This is your standard Dogs, miracle kids, grow all-purpose. Yeah. yeah. You just you know, back, way back in the day when it first came yep. out. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> of course, you apply that either with a watering can or the miracle grow uh, feeder. Okay. Either I way. see a product right here. Let me ask you about this. This is called water storing crystals. Yeah. Tell me about that. Okay, this would be similar to the crystals in a diaper. Okay. And it, you know, and they absorb water. So you just mix this in the top few inches of the soil okay. in your pot, and that will help. The, the top the, couple of inches? In the top couple inches okay. of the soil, and that will, it, that way you won't have to water the plants as often. It'll store the water for the plants, and okay. it will release it as they need it. Okay. Now, notice we've been talking about fertilization here. We've got some moisture control potting soils. We got some moisture control garden soil, and we've got some some Scotch Naturescapes here. We were talking a little bit earlier. This is just as important as the soil itself is. So tell me about the three That's of right. those working together. Okay. First of all, and you'll notice in the flower beds around the square here, everything is mulch. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you can put a three to six inch layer of mulch around your flowers and your plants, you're going to protect the roots from the heat. Okay. And what's unique about the Naturescapes is it actually has a polymer in there that allows the water to go through it okay. versus uh, a normal uh, bark that okay. you would put down. Okay. And of course, then you have three colors. Okay. You have the red, the brown, and the black, and uh, with a, you know, a color guarantee of uh, at least a year on it. Okay. So it really, and the other thing the mulch does is it keeps out the weeds. Okay. So naturally. It, it naturally keeps out the weeds. Right. So tell me about moisture control potting and garden soils. What's the advantage of moisture right. control? The moisture control soils are really, I mean, for this part of the country, are just almost a must because they hold the water and then release it as the plant needs it. Okay. They have a unique additive in there that uh, Scotts puts in it. It's actually called Aquaphor, and it, uh, it's coconut fibers that we've processed and added to this that actually hold water. Holds it's really water. Uh, like a sponge. And so when you get this heat, um, a normal potting soil will just dry out really quick, especially if it's in the sun. Mm -hmm. But with this moisture control, it'll hold the water. And so if you get too much rain or if you, um, you know, or if you get the heat like we have now, the moisture control actually is going to control the release of the water to the plant. Now, I can, I can testify to that. I've, I've planted, I've, I've put some, I made some tomato pots, and I'm the world's worst about forgetting the water, and that right. stuff, the, the, the potting soil has been a lifesaver for us, and I've got great looking tomato plants, so. It also has some fertilizer in it, too. Yes, it has miracle Grow in it. Yeah, thanks for pointing out. Cool. And the other thing, there's two different products there. Okay. Okay, so this is kind of technical. I want, to, I want to make sure I'm not getting over your head with this. So one is called potting soil, and one is called garden soil. Right, and I use the garden soil on my tomatoes. 
Did you put them in pots? Mm -hmm. Where you use the wrong product. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. See, I should have talked to so, you first. So, see, garden soil okay. goes in the garden. Okay. It goes well, outside. I made it be in the garden. Okay. So look there, guys. I made, but, I made a huge mistake. <laughs> so, we're going to have to correct that next year. But we've talked about all of our soils here. We talked about fertilizing our plants. Yep. When we come back, we're going to talk about how to keep the bugs out of the yard and keep the bugs out of the house. I'm Mark Mullins and this is Doings Around the House with the Home Depot. Hey, welcome back to Doings Around the House with the Home Depot. I'm Mark Mullins. We thank you for being with us today. I'm back again with uh, Steve Hansen from Scott's Miracle Grove. Steve, we've talked about fertilizers, how to apply the fertilizers. We've talked about how to feed your plants. We've talked about the potting soils and the garden soils. We talked about moisture control. Now we're talking about we're in June. Bugs don't know it's a recession, so they're running into the house because it's hot outside. They're looking for cool, damp spots. Tell me about Bug Be Gone. We got it in the concentrate. Okay. We've got it in a bottle that you attach to your water hose, and right. we've got it in the granular down here. So, yep. Tell me about when to use the, partic the three particular products okay. and what to do with them. Okay. Well, the bugs are there. So you, basically you have different types of application. Sure. So the granules you can use in your yard and they're really easier to use probably than the liquid in a lot of cases. And it depends also on your preference for an applicator. Sure. So if you would rather push a spreader around, you can use the granules and that will get the product on the yard to kill fleas and chinch bugs and crickets and all other kinds of little critters out there. Okay. It'll kill just about anything in the yard. Okay. And it's safe around vegetables too. Okay. And, and, and in your pets. garden. All, and it's safe around pets. Okay. okay. One point on pets. Keep your pets and kids off of the area that you have treated until it's dry. Okay, that's very important folks. We want to be, every right. time we apply anything like this, we want to make sure that we're safe Right. keeping the kids, the pets, anything else that might be harmed out of the way until it dries. Uh, okay. Okay, so then the liquid, and if you have your own sprayer, you can use the concentrate. Okay. If you'd prefer using your own sprayer. Okay. And of course you can spray that up in your shrubs, on your shrubs, on your vegetables. It's any bug anywhere. Mosquitoes. Outside the house. Mosquitoes, yeah. Okay. So if we get some rain, the mosquitoes kick back in, then, okay. um, then you've got a way to do that. Okay. Then the other one is already has the applicator attached. So all you do is hook it to your hose. And what's nice about that, there's nothing to clean up okay. when you get done. You get done, you just throw it away. Right. Okay. Right. And then, and then, the, uh, and then we're putting that in our spreader, spreading it out. Now let me ask right. you a question. If we put that in, the, in granular form on mm -hmm. our lawn, does it last longer than the spray that out of the water great, hose? That is a great question. Okay. And uh, the answer is no. Okay. Uh, actually, the chemical on the granular and the chemical in the concentrate is the same. Okay. And it lasts the same regardless. Okay. And it'll usually last um, up to eight weeks. Okay. And uh, depending on the weather, of course, if you get rain, sun breaks it down, so it'll it'll break down a little quicker. Now the granules have to be watered in to activate. Okay. So you have to remember that. So you have to have access to water. Okay. 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 Tell us about tell us about Orthomax, the home defense. Uh, tell us about that. Tell okay. us what we're doing with that. Is that inside, outside? It can anywhere? go. It can go inside or outside. Of course, uh, outside the. The concentrate products are going to go a lot further because this is ready to use. But uh, you can use this inside or outside. And you can even use it if you have fleas in the house and your carpet. You can even spray your carpet with it. You want okay. to test a corner first to right. make sure it's color fast. Okay. But this product is uh, probably the most effective product on the market. lasts longer than just about anything else you have available on the shelf. Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay. Last but not least, uh, Scotch Miracle Grow Roundup has a brand new product out called Sure Shot Foam. Tell me about that. Tell me what I can do with that Sure Shot Foam, Steve. This is really uh, a, uh, a great product for your wife. So if I would rather be on the golf course and my wife wants to kill weeds, this is great because she can just, it fits her hand perfectly. <laughs> Notice that. So she can take this, you turn it upside down, 
and spray it and it puts out an accurate stream that will is very selective so you can just spot spray, spot spray weeds right in your flower beds and everything just make sure it is roundup though so make sure that you do not get it on anything that you don't want to kill roundup kills anything green okay okay all right we want to tell you know we've, we've covered a lot of things today folks we've covered fertilization we've covered how to feed your plants we've covered how to kill bugs we've covered how to put apply mulch when to apply mulch <clears throat> we just want to make sure that when you guys are putting it down <clears throat> excuse me that you're using gloves and you're using some kind of a, a, a respirator uh, to keep yourself from, from breathing in the, any particles that might be applied or, or might be airborne when you're putting this stuff down. <clears throat> Remember, it's always about safety. Uh, it's always about taking care of your pets and your children around. Uh, if you're applying any of these things, make sure that they're away. Uh, it's also just, you know, we just want to make sure that you have a great lawn, a great summer, and, uh, you know, do these things the right way and put the right things on your, on your uh, uh, plants and don't use the potting soil for the garden pot or the garden soil for the whatever pot that I did a minute ago. Uh, Steve Hansen is with us from Scott's miracle Grow. Great presentation, sir. We thank you for coming to see us. Thank you. Uh, we thank you for everything that you guys do for the Home Depot. And uh, one, you know, one, one other thing on the safety, okay, is, uh, Folks, you want to make sure you follow the label directions. Good point. Uh, you don't want to go in and try to uh, say, well, if four ounces is good, then eight ounces is better, because right. it's not. Right. Uh, it's, it's on there for a reason. It's the way it's supposed to be, and you need to make sure you follow those label directions. And uh, so I just wanted to point that out, and you'll, okay. you'll have more success killing your bugs and growing your plants if you do it according to the label direction. Well, we're excited about all these products. Folks, if you got any more questions or have any concerns about any of these products, you can go to homedepot.com or you can go to scotts.com. We'll be glad to answer any questions that you might have. Listen, and want to thank you for tuning in to our really our very first show for our doings around the house with the Home Depot. I'm your host, Mark Mullins, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.